These 3D printers are officially part of my workflow and part of this workshop. And because I have a dusty environment, I have a saw there, I have belt senders there, they need to have a little bit better conditions to work in. These printers are pretty amazing. They totally change the dynamic of the entire workshop. I have them from Prusa, that's a Czech company, and they run 24-7 like a little farm. This is my couple days long project. So 3D printers are covered from the dust and they also have consistent temperature environment. That means I have a digital thermostat here and I have two fans, input and output. The input has a filter, so it doesn't suck in all the dust from the workshop. I just set on a digital thermostat what temperature I want to turn on the fans and after the temperature drops, it stops moving the air in. So this way I have range, let's say 33 to 29 degrees Celsius and 3D printers of consistent environment. I have a lot of 3D printed parts, like this cleaning detergent, like towel rack, I have magnet with all the tools, and I have this sheet holder where I can have different bats for the 3D printer. This is a custom stand. When I finish the 3D print and I'm waiting for it, I have this fan, turn it on and cools the bed down and I can take it off the bed easily. You can see the entire thing is on the wheels, so I can anytime move it somewhere else. Everything from the back is neatly organized. I have LED switch inside and the entire roof, this entire top, opens up just in case I need to do any kind of a servicing, I need to change filament, all of that is accessible all the time. Down here I have a lot of different colors, different plastic for different purposes. When I want to have a different uh, style on my e-bikes, I can be printing different colors, different combinations, because some parts are too big to fit on my printing bed. So I just make a join and this way I can be combining different colors on the different panels. I hope you don't think 3D printers are for trinkets only. We have a great practical use for them. Hope you learn maybe my approach to the 3D printer box. You might be convinced to do something similar or just uh, grab some ideas and make it your way. If you want to see more cool content, what I've been using these 3D printers for, uh, check out my channel. We're developing e-bikes and we have pretty cool use for those panels and a phone holder and all of that. 